Hi, I'm Katie Groves. Hi, I'm Carter. Hey guys, we're Stereo Skyline, and you're watching Dad's Car Radio. Dad's Car Radio. And you're watching Dad's Car Radio. Woo! Woo! It's Chelsea from Dad's Car Radio, here with Katie Groves. Hi. How are you? I'm good today, how are you? I'm very well. I'm eating chocolate on the bus. <laughs> we are on the very cool air-conditioned bus. Yes. Today hasn't really been the hottest day, has it? No, or? not near as hot as every other day. It's been like a blessing today, John. For it to not be so gross. I'm looking out the window though, and it is really, really sunny. You can see by my sick tan that I have. <laughs> what has been the worst day, like heat-wise? Oh my gosh. There was one where I almost passed out on stage, but actually yesterday in um, New Jersey, mm -hmm. we were at a Six Flags, and I rode a roller coaster, and it was so hot outside that I blacked out in the roller coaster. So. Oh. <laughs> it was well, did the coaster turn upside down, or was it like a normal one? Um, it, it went like side, yeah, it went upside down. Okay. Well, it was a pretty intense one. Oh. Well then. <laughs> um, there are a lot of bands on this tour. Is there anybody that you look up to musically? Oh gosh, all of them, but Good Charlotte has seriously taken me under their wing. I spend every like spare second with them. They're like my best friends, and they've honestly like just taken me in. And... Oh, my phone's <laughs> <going off. laughs> They, um, they just like, they're awesome. They take me in and they help me out and they, they tell me so much about like life and mm -hmm. just like the business and the stuff that like business people won't tell you. you mm -hmm. know? They're awesome. Love them. Okay, well next question was, was there anybody that you wanted to make friends with and did you succeed? But was there anybody else other than Good Charlotte that you just really became really close with? I'm so close, like it's not even, like everyone calls me the, the tour drifter because I walk around and I just like hang out with everyone like so much and I've created like really, really close relationships with a lot of these people and it's like the last week I've been like crying and stuff. I'm like, I don't want the tour to end. Like, I feel like they're seriously my my family. It's, it's, and I'm not just saying that, like you can't force that sort of feeling. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome. Like everyone was just so sweet to me. That's great though. Um, what is your favorite song on your album, Life is a Pirate? Um, I have to say, well, I have a lot of favorites. My new favorite recently to like play live is I'm Still Here mm -hmm. because we've really just gotten in the groove of it and it has like a cool bridge and I really like, um, but, I really like the Life of a Pirate one because it's like just my autobiography and it's the only, it's the most honest things I've ever said about myself, so. Can you elaborate what it's like to be a pirate? <laughs> well, it's like, for a while I was uh, in a really bad place in my life and I was running away from anything and everything and um, I just would get in my car and live in there and just for years and it was a bad thing and I just would just move anywhere in the middle of the night to not feel horrible. Like, it, I don't know, so it's just the Life of a Pirate, just going around doing whatever. No strings, you know. And now it makes sense. Yes. <laughs> uh, what has been your favorite thing to do with your downtime? Mm. I've made a million demos on this tour, which is awesome. So you always feel inspired on tour, which is what I hear. So, um, also, I love to hang out with all the other bands and like just bond and stuff. Very cool. What are five necessary things that you need to bring on tour? Mm. Toothpaste, toothbrush, <laughs> um, underwear. <laughs> um, shampoo and conditioner because I've had to wash my hair in like sinks every time I've washed it. So there's a uh, hair dryer if you need one because I I like one, you know. <laughs> but but that's fine. But I still have some more. Uh, always bring socks and a comfortable pair of shoes and shorts to sleep in because I forgot to bring shorts to sleep in. So I'm sitting in jeans every night. Oh. <laughs> that must be fun. I know. Um, has the tour lived up to your expectations? It's, I had no expectations because I've never been on tour, mm -hmm. but this tour is, I mean, I just want to cry after anyone, I love oh. all the people so much, I'm going to miss it. <laughs> what has been your favorite venue so far? Mm -hmm. Maryland, the first tour, the first date. It was my first show ever, and um, it was the day I met, like, everyone, like, Benji and Joel, and I was so scared, like, I was like, oh my gosh, Benji, uh, Benji Madden was just playing basketball, and, and like, he came up <laughs> to me, like, I was seriously walking around, I was like, um, Oh my gosh, there's Joel right there, you can see him out the window. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> I was just on their bus. Okay, Benji Madden walked up to me the first day of tour in Maryland and was like, hey, what's your name? Like, la la, and I was just like, <sighs> <laughs> And now he's seriously, like, my best friend. Like, I, if there's one person on this tour that I've become, like, super, super close with, it's him, and, like, I talk to him about everything, and we just, he's awesome. Well, like, that's great. And they're yeah. from Maryland as well. They're from Maryland, yeah. yeah. The show was, all, the kids were awesome. There were just thousands of people there. It was insane. Yeah. It was so cool, and it was my first show, so to walk out on the main stage and see like thousands of people just like screaming, it was just like the weirdest feeling, but the coolest feeling. 
Well, I ask that question all the time, and I've never heard Maryland, so <laughs> my hometown. But yeah. I still, like skip my last two classes to go. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, how often do you connect with the people back home? Um, I don't have a home. I've never had like a back home. Like your family. Um, I don't really. Okay. I don't. I don't really to keep up with them too much. Okay. Well, what is the last thing that goes through your head uh, when you're like right about to go on stage? Oh wow. Um. Huh. That's. I want to think of the right answer for that. Like the real answer, because mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of how I feel every day. I would say like. Um, I play, I play every show, like, for my brother Casey, who, who passed away, and, uh, like, I think before the show, I, I always, like, I always, <laughs> it's kind of silly, because he used to, we used to always have this joke, like, that we could fly, because when we were both little kids, we both thought we could fly, but he was a lot older than me, but I just happened to be a lot like him when I was a kid, and, uh, <laughs> we, I always, like, look up to this guy, like, just sort of think maybe he's up there watching it. Cause he was the only person who ever told me I could do this, and I just, yeah, like I want him to know. And like, so every show I just like sing my heart out and hope that he can hear it, and hope that he's proud. And I know it sounds corny, but it's true. <laughs> it's fine if it's true. Yeah, it is.